The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning and welcome to the Broncos Broadcasting Network. I'm Ethan. And I'm Caroline. Here are the stories for this morning's broadcast. We will take a look at the distribution of life in aquatic systems. And we will look at a teacher who is not only highly effective in the classroom, but as a coach as well. BBN News begins now. Today is Thursday, September 28th, which is International Ask a Stupid Question Day and National Good Neighbor Day. If today is your birthday, you share your birthday with Hilary Duff, Myra Servino, and Bam Morana. If today is your birthday, happy birthday! Underclassmen School Picture Day is coming up on October 25th, with retakes being on November 29th. After school tutoring has begun, students must be in the media center by 2.05 and must be picked up when tutoring ends at 3.05. Are you interested in showing off your crafts? Then the Holiday Craft Bazaar is for you. The bazaar will take place on December 2nd from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Please email Ms. Madden at kayla.madden at pulp-fl.net to sign up for your booth. Art Club will be meeting today from 2.05 until 3 p.m. In, the, in room 3108. All students are welcome. You don't need to be taking an art class to be part of the art club. Please come today or see Mr. Steele, Mr. Riggs, or Ms. Chambers for more information. The National Honor Society meeting will, be take, will take place on Wednesday, October 4th in the cafeteria after school. Please see Mr. Desheen in room 306 with any questions. The 23rd Annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Essay Challenge has begun, and this year's topic is Building Communities to Help Transform Unjust Systems. The deadline is November 1st, and winning students will earn $350. Scan the QR code for more information. For the first time in Broncos history, the DHS students have voted and named the Staff Member of the Month. Students say this teacher makes class enjoyable and fun, is very kind, is cool, and is the best. The staff member of the month is Sergeant Wright. Congratulations, Sergeant Wright. And now Moses will take us on a journey on the distribution of the life in aquatic systems. like a mock-up into Florida. We drew the map of Florida first. Then we did a square of, what'd you say? Those are the ones you're seeing there? That is the square, so like that was my map. Then I did the two, the blue ones are the keep it straight and not folding because every time you lift the four corners, it would like know literally fall, about marine fall, biology? Right? Then we added huh? the brown stick. Those are the directions at, right? So this is like a mock-up. No way I'm talking to a fish right now. I need some more sleep. So are you going to help me out or not? All right, I'll help you talking fish. I want to know more about my species. I mean, the only thing I really know is that my name has something to do with school, and that's why I'm here. I believe you're a schoolmaster snapper. Um, it's like the most popular fish food in the ocean or something. Uh, I think I'm going to stay here then. Oh, I guess my job here is done. All right. Wait. You're the only person who has helped me learn anything about myself. I feel so lonely here. Oh, I mean, you got some company around here. Oh, yeah, about that. My friend over there has some questions, too. Hey, Sky, ask him the question. So, what was your question? You know, no, 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 no. We just really haven't got to that part of the question yet. And we did a square of... So do you know anything about the fishes over there? I'm going to be honest, I didn't really pay attention in this class in the past month. You're still the one who knows anything about us the whole year! I do know a few things. You guys naturally live in an enemy, and you, you're also in a movie. And we're in a movie! Yeah, and a pretty popular one, too. That's cool. I wish I made it in a movie. Yeah, I better get back to paying attention. 
hoping to talk again. Moses, what are you doing? You've been talking to the fish for five minutes. Get on to the phone. Today's ACT word of the day is partial, meaning to prefer one option over another. We get strawberry ice cream, but I'm actually more partial to chocolate. Seniors, schedule your senior photos today. If you missed today's road shoot, Katie will be back on campus on November 3rd and December 14th. Register at katie.com slash schedule to secure your time. On to Broncos sports. The Lady Broncos volleyball team were in action this past Tuesday night when they defeated the Lake Wales Highlanders by a score of three sets to zero. The Lady Broncos volleyball team will be back at the ranch tonight when they face off against Kathleen Red Devils. The boys football team is back in action under the lights this Friday night when they host the undefeated Lake Wales Highlanders. Kickoff is at 7.30. Boys soccer tryouts are right around the corner and will occur between October 17th and 19th. You must have a physical uploaded to activate to try out. If you have any questions, please see Coach Riggs. Boys and girls track and field conditioning will begin on October 10th at 2.30. Conditioning will take place each Tuesday and Thursday beginning on the 10th. Girls soccer tryouts will occur on October 16th to 19th from 2.30 until 4.30. There will be a wrestling interest meeting for both boys and girls tonight at 5.30 p.m. in the Bronquateria. Information on practices, meets, and school requirements will be given out. Please bring a parent or guardian with you. Any questions, please see Coach Dobin. Davenport High School has a large group of staff and teachers to help run the show. Here's Ashley to help you get familiar with one of those teachers who is also our golf coach. Mr. Schiffbauer is one of Davenport High's beloved teachers. Today we'd like for you to get to know him more. Uh, I'm Brian Schiffbauer. Uh, I teach U.S. History here at Davenport High School. Teaching is something Mr. Schiffbauer actively pursues. Yeah, I mean, working with students is uh, it's, it's a passion of mine. Um, I started actually teaching at the collegiate uh, level um, at Emory University and also Aldous and Braz University in West Virginia. Uh, and then my wife got a career opportunity here at uh, here in Orlando with Disney, and so we moved down here. And um, you know, then COVID hit, and after COVID, I just felt like kind of calling back to, uh, back to the classroom. And obviously, Davenport had an opportunity, and um, here I am. A good attribute for teachers is their ability to work well with students. As a new student, you know, he is a very awesome teacher. He works with kids really well and just the way that he teaches us is such a, he puts it in a fun way and he basically, he makes class kind of like something that I look forward to, you know, because most classes are honestly kind of boring, but he makes class fun and I'm I'm glad to use my teacher. Um, I really like being in his class. He makes learning fun, and I have learned a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have like remembered if I was in any other class. Um, history is probably my worst subject, and I'm actually doing really well, and he's a great teacher. I'm Ashley Ramirez with the Broncos Broadcasting Network.
Broncos, homecoming and spirit week dates have officially been announced. Homecoming will take place under the stars on October 7th from 7 until 11 p.m. You must be a current DHS student to attend and have no previous discipline from this year and all obligations must be paid to attend. Please pay attention to the dress code. Spirit Week will kick off on Monday, October 2nd with Senior Citizen Day. Tuesday will be anything but a backpack day. Wednesday, we will look back at the summer blockbuster movie Frenzy that took the country by storm with Barbie vs. Oppenheimer. Thursday is Hero vs. Villains Day. And Friday is School Spirit Day. Throughout Hispanic Heritage Month, we will be introducing a Spanish word or phrase that the Spanish class classes at DHS pick to share. Today's phrase of the day is Tango Swango, meaning I am sleepy. Thank you for joining us today for Broncos News. I'm Ethan. And I'm Caroline. Have a great day, Broncos.